Guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at Altaria GX today from Dragon Majesty, and um, yeah, this is definitely one of the more hyped GXs to come out of this new set. It's a very cool card. It's got a very nice attack with bright tone. And uh, one again in the video, I do want to give a quick shout out to my friend here, Grass Type for Life, for lending me the Altarias. Altaria GX is probably the most expensive GX in this set Dragon Majesty right now and again you know Dragon Majesty is really hard to get until the Elite Trainer boxes come out Dragon Majesty is going to be very pricey so I gotta once again give him a shout out for lending me these Altarias for the video so yeah let's take a look at Altaria here Altaria's attack Bright Tone is kind of the main hype behind it for a Fairy and a Colorless you do 50 damage then during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage done this Pokemon by attacks from GXs and EXs now that is a very good attack um, obviously, there's a lot of GX heavy decks right now, though we are in a bit of a weird format where there is a lot of Shrine of Punishment decks that use no GXs at all, so that's one of the problems with Bright Tone right now is there are some decks that don't really care about, you know, GXs because they want to be against it. You know, they have Shrine of Punishment, Buzzwool, Garboulders, Weaviles, all that stuff. So Altaria can struggle on that front, but if you play against a GX heavy deck, you won't struggle on that front. So it's a very 50-50 card right now, in my opinion. Um, now, Altaria does have some cool synergy with its other Altaria from Dragon Majesty with Fight Song. Very strong ability here during your, um, not during your, your Dragon Pokemon stack to 20 more damage during your opponent's active Pokemon. So, very nice ability to have. And it is already an Altaria, sort of awesome Swablu. So, there's some really good synergy there with the two guys here. Um, but, you, you know, my issue with Altaria is, because I did try it. I tried Altaria by itself. I tried the pure Altaria deck. I honestly didn't like it that much. One of the problems I had with Altaria is that you had to attach an, an energy um, basically when you go first. If you go first, you don't hit a Swablu with the energy on it, you're actually at a huge disadvantage. Swablu is very easy to pick off. Um, Altaria is not that tanky. That's my issue with this deck is it's very susceptible to relying on getting the Fairy on, on your Swablu on your first turn. If you don't do that, you're going to fall behind quite a bit. That's why I didn't like the Pure Altaria deck. I tried it, I didn't like the Pure Altaria deck that much. Instead, I decided to combo it with Gardevoir GX because I feel like it's a great backup attacker and it's a great partner to have. So Gardevoir GX has Secret Spring. Once you're in turn, before you attack, you may attach a Fairy Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. This can also help accelerate Bright Tone. And then we have Infinite Force, which is 30 damage times, you know, what Infinite Force is. And we have Twilight GX too. So Gardevoir, I think, is a great backup attacker for Altaria. I think it's a great, nice card to have with Altaria because a pure Altaria, in my opinion, didn't work. Even with Lance, even with you know, Altaria, but he, on paper it seems nice to have, like, Altaria GX, two other Altarias and play with Fight Song, but it didn't play out that way. I didn't like the deck, so I scrapped it. I decided to go with an Altaria Gardevoir deck today, because I think it might be better, and it's, uh, it's another, it's a unique way to look at the deck than just a pure Altaria version. That probably is the most hype build. Altaria GX does have Sonic Edge, which is actually good, too. For a Fairy, a Water, and a Colorless, you do 110 damage, and this attack isn't affected by effects on your opponent's active. This is good because you can actually go through Hoopa GX. Hoopa GX. You can go straight through Hoopa, right? And not have to worry about not damaging it. And Altaria's GX attack, Euphoria, is actually decent too. Um, your opponent's active Pokemon are now asleep. Heal all damage from all your Pokemon. Maybe you could do something where you're able to, like, you know, heal all your Gardevoirs. That'd be insane. So I think this deck might be better than the pure Gardevoir deck or pure Altaria deck. Now, I am playing two Fight Songs. I am playing one Lance Prism Star. It is still possible to get multiple Tarias down. So, we're going to try it out and make it work. But other than that, this is my um, Pokemon lineup. We got an Oranguru for Instruct. I am playing a Coco. Just Flying Flip is great, but just having that free retreat is so good right now in this format, in my opinion. I honestly think Coco can be a good one of in like any deck, even if you don't have DC. Free retreat is super good right now. Two Lele's for Wonder Tag. We got our four Ralts, one Curlia, three Guardies, and uh, that's the Pokemon lineup. Three Swablu's. I am playing a four line of each. The reason I'm playing the split two is because we do have Lance Prison Star, so it's fine. Um, going to the items now. We got one energy recycle system. I like this card quite a bit in decks like this. It's just this card is super underrated. Also, really hope we get a rainbow rare version of this card because I really like this a lot. Uh, one treasure, we get our Altarias, we got three nest balls, three rare candies for Guardy, we got one stretcher to be able to get our Pokemon back. One switch, four ultra balls, just your standard stuff. Um, we got four Cynthia's for draw. Three Guzmas to knock stuff out, and again, one Lance Prism Star. Very cool card with Dragon Types, but we're going to be able to do Lance Prism Star with Altaria, and maybe just put two Fight Songs on the bench for free. We got four Lilies. Lily turn one is so good right now. One Tank Liza, um, two Choice Bands, 
We got um, three BCEs, eight fairy energies, and just one single water energy just for um, if we ever play against Hoopa. This deck can't really beat Hoopa because you can't damage with Gardevoir and uh, Pierce isn't doing much, so you might as well just, you know, Sonic Edge them. So the one water comes in handy. Three DCs is also just for Gardevoir GX because it's infinite force is good with it. The only thing I would change about this deck is an extra choice band, but again, we do have Twilight. And yeah, this is my Altaria Gardevoir deck. I really like this deck. I think this might be the best way to play Altaria. The pure Altaria deck, again, I think was too slow. Having to get a Swabu, having to get the energy on it, having it easy to get picked off is just too risky. It's also why I'm not a fan of Neuvern Altaria. I tried that out, didn't like it that much either. So we're going to try this deck out instead. See how it does for us. So I'll catch you guys in a minute with some matches. Alright guys, here we go. Let's get some games with the Altaria Guardi deck. And I am interested to see how we do. Looks like we're up against Garchomp. This is why I didn't like the pure version. The pure version struggles against these annoying non-GX decks. So that's why I was like, you know what? Altaria Gardevoir probably is the better build. And we'll see if it works for us. We are going to start with Ralts. We got Lele. We'll have a turn one Lily. And we'll have to see what we can do from there. Um, so you guys can also test out different builds without these Altarias. It's not needed. Uh, I don't see any Dragon Garchomps. That's you know, not great. Pretty annoying. This is why I didn't like the pure Altaria version, because I just kept playing against these non-GX decks. And then that, too. I found Swablu's just couldn't cut it. So, I don't know. I don't know. The pure, pure Altaria version is interesting. On paper, it seems very good, but I feel like it's just not as good as it wants to be. Uh, we do have an okay hand. We can probably drop Lele for Lily, depending on what we can draw. Maybe draw like an extra card we can play, draw a few cards. It's actually playing the DC and the Choice Band on Riolu. Interesting. There's another Riolu going down. Another Choice Band. So he's probably playing Lucario GX. We gotta watch out for that. Alright, we top deck Lily. It's not even gonna be the best Lily. We're only getting three cards. So is it even worth it? I mean, I guess it is. Three is better than none. Wow. Okay. Hey, no, like, rare candies, no guardies. Okay. Just a bunch of energy. I guess we can go Altaria next turn if he is playing Lucario GX. He's probably going to knock me out with Lucario in general. But these uh, non-GX decks are a little annoying to play against. Uh, one thing to note, I guess he has played both choice bands on his uh, Riolus. And uh, Garchomp Royal Blades can attack and one-shot Gardevoir. But it looks like he is just going to do that. Yeah, with choice bands he's able to do that. Speaking of choice bands, probably a good card to just burn. I doubt we're going to even hit what we want, so we may as well just touch Fairy Energy here. Play Cynthia. Probably want to get Altaria. Another would also be nice. We got Curlia. I mean, I guess that's fine. I don't... If he, he's not playing Lucario GX, then he can't knock me out. So that's good. And we'll just pass, so that's fine. We got Swablu ready to go. He might have a Guzman hand in the Lucario and Energy. There's the first Gibble. So we got to find a way to take out these Gibbles. If I can top deck a way to get Altaria, I can Bright Tone Gibble. So let's see if we're able to get that. We got Guzma, but that is not the Altaria, unfortunately. We do have both Altarias in the deck. We have all our Guardies in the deck. We did prize a rare candy. We have our Lance. Uh, it looks like Rokan Energy. Not getting the Altaria there is a little annoying. I do want to knock out Gibble. Garchomp is scary to see. So we'll probably attach to Curlia. Probably just do Lily here. Hopefully we find Gardevoir. We don't find Gardevoir? Are you actually kidding me? Wow. Um, I'm actually going to retreat into Ralts here so I don't lose Curlia. That's pretty annoying. Hopefully next turn, though, we're able to get Altaria so we can knock out Garchomp. Gardevoir, though, not hitting it there is pretty bad. Pretty bad. It's going to do Field Blower. Okay, it's getting rid of my Choice Band. That's fine. We're probably not going to need it here. Getting rid of Brookwood Hill, too. Interesting. And, ooh, he's going to judge me to four. Okay. Still, hopefully, we can get a knockout here. That'd be nice. Probably a knockout with the Gibble with the DC on it. Okay. No Altaria still. Where are they? Come on, Altaria. Well, he hasn't gotten any Gabites or Garchomps either, I guess. Switch is... I mean, that's nice, but it's not helping us. I'm really surprised we're not able to get Altaria. All right. We have to get something off of this. Come on. Okay. That's a little better. We'll get rid of... Probably DCE. If I'm going to be quite honest with you. Everything else I kind of want to keep. We'll grab Altaria. So we finally got Altaria. Um, so we'll have the knockout next turn with Bright Tone. As long as he doesn't 
have a Gabbite or Garchomp. He did Judge until the four. Four cards is not a whole lot of cards to get. Nope, there's Rare Candy. So, let's see if he's playing Dragon Garchomp. Nope, Fighting Garchomp. He could also have Quick Dive if he wants to snipe a Swablu. That's also a problem. He's going to just go for Detect, and he's going to get Tits. Um, probably not going to knock him out this turn. We got another DCE. If we had an, a Water Energy, that'd be nice. I don't know if it's even smart to goose up this Garchomp, if I'm be honest with you. But I might just do it anyways just to get damage on it. Or maybe it's just better to knock out Gibble. I don't want to get Royal... We'll get Royal Blaze next turn and then we're in trouble. But we do have Lance. I don't know. Is it smart to knock out Garchomp? Bring out Garchomp. But if he has DC and Cynthia... Rip. I think it's fine. He didn't do anything last turn. He did judge the turn before. I'm gonna DC Swablu. He might get knocked out, but I'm gonna still do it just because if he does knock us out, we can potentially lance for double Taria, maybe top like a fairy energy, something. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just hit him for 50. We're gonna be in a bit of a three shot range, and he might knock me out if he has a DCE here. Um, no, he's just gonna retreat into Riolu again, so that's fine. Ooh, he's gonna Guzma me again. He's gonna bring out the Curlia. Okay, does he have a DCE? It's counter energy. That doesn't work though. He's gonna knock out Swablu, it looks like. Alright, I can play Lance here and I can retreat into Altaria. But I'd have one DC left. No, we'd be out of DCs. Okay, water energy works too. Wait. Hold on, we're. Okay, hold on. Maybe I'm doing the math wrong. Let's do Lance. We'll grab Altaria. Probably not going to need that Altaria. We'll grab double Altaria here. Um, Yeah, it looks like we have to retreat with the DC here to knock him out. Because we can knock him out with Altaria's second attack. That sucks. We're out of DCs now. We can Sonic Edge knock him out here. So it's still worth it. Plus now we're one-shotting Garchomps. But he gets one. He wants us. There's a Cynthia. That's what we needed. Now we can hopefully get Gardevoir. We're out of DCs though. So I wouldn't mind getting a turn to do Twilight. I actually think if he just does Detect here, I might go for Twilight if we can find Gardevoir. Yeah, so it looks like it's safe to do that. So we'll Cynthia, see if we can get a Twilight off. No, we did. Okay, that's actually a pretty good hand though. We're able to do a lot here. If it lets us, come on. Today, there we go. There we go. All right, do we want to play a Ranguru down though? Because then we can't play Lele and we're only drawing one card. Probably not worth it. Well, it might be. It might be, especially if we do hit the uh, fairy energy. We have Guzma, so I guess it is something to go into here. I might actually retreat into it, because you never know, we could still get KO'd. And we actually did get the fairy energy, so now I do not regret that. So yeah, we'll retreat Altaria, go into Gardevoir, and we'll do Twilight GX. So, what do we want to get back? We want to get back most of our supporters, that's for sure. All three DCs is good. We'll get back the Fairy Energies. And probably we have one card left to get back. It's either Guzma or Taint Liza, and I'll probably take Guzma. There we go. Beautiful Twilight. Beautiful. So we get back everything we need. Got all the DCs back. We don't have Euphoria, but because we're playing against a deck that can easily one-shot Altaria, and even Gardevoir with the Choice Band, um, it's fine to do Twilight. Just get all the cards we need. So yeah, seems good. Our board setup is kind of insane right now, too, to be honest with you. <laughs> Double Altaria, Altaria GX in play. Um, plus, we can knock out Gibble here. So yeah, we'll just uh, do this. We'll instruct for one. Probably just looking for another Fairy Energy or something. No, I think, yeah. Well, Bright Tone, knock him out. If he's playing Lucario GX, he can't do that anymore. Let's see what we find. We got a Lily. All right, I was hoping maybe get another Guzma in case he does decide to put another, you know, decides to try and build up Gibble. The game is far from over. We have only taken two prizes, though we have removed most of the main threats off the board. We've still only taken two prizes, so it's not a lot. My opponent isn't drawing very well, though, at the moment, though, it seems, which is the only positive right now. And again, our board state right now is kind of insane. Double Altaria, double Gardevoir. This is like the ideal setup. So he's going to counter catch your up, the upper Ranguru. He's going to get Ultra Ball. I kind of don't want the game to end, to be honest with you, so I'm kind of glad it's playing out. Because our board setup is just so good right now. 
And that's kind of why this build, I think, works better. Having Gardevoir as a backup attacker is so nice to have. Just Because if we were just using pure Altaria, we'd probably just get completely run over by now. Bright Tone would be hitting good enough numbers. So I don't know. I feel like Gardevoir Altaria probably works better. I'm just glad this first game is playing out so nice. And it seems like this is a bad matchup for us too, especially since he hits good numbers on Gardevoir and Altaria with Royal Blade, so yeah. The game is far from over though. It is far from over. Even though we have a really good setup right now, the game is not over yet. So he's going to play the counter energy, which is an effect, and he hits head on the detect. This man has been getting lucky with these attacks. There's a DCE. Start attaching that. I could have retreated, but there's no point, right? We'll do Cynthia, and probably looking for one of my Guzmas here. We weren't able to hit it. We have another DC, though, so if we need to retreat next turn, we have it. We may as well Ultra Ball, get rid of Nest Ball and Altaria just to thin. Uh, in case he does take a prize next turn, we'll grab Lele. And we'll pass. I could, you know, Ultra Ball again, struck, but it's fine. It is fine, it's not a big deal. I mean, even if he does get a Garchomp in play, a lot of stuff can knock him out. Gardevoir GX can knock him out, too, don't forget. 150 HP is not a lot of HP when you need 3 energies to attack, and that's what Gardevoir likes to see. So he's going to get a good bite down. He's going to be able to instruct for 3, and it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get Guzma next turn. I could Ultra Ball maybe and try and thin up the deck. I might do that, just because we do want to knock a good bite. So he's going to put another Gibble down. He does find energy, and just to detect. Eh, oh my gosh, with these heads, bruh. Alright, we drew a Cynthia. I can retreat here, but there's no point. I may as well just let him... I mean, here's the funny thing. He can't really do a Guzma knockout other than just on one of these Altarias with Garchomp. Because that's not a Cynthia. So, I feel fine just chilling. We'll probably just do Cynthia. How many is that? Two. And just keep, I guess, trying to dig for Guzma. But other than that, we're in a good spot. We'll play the Choice Band because it's kind of useless. Um, I can Ultra Ball. But there's not much I need. I don't even know where I want to put the Fairy Energy. I think I just pass. I don't know where to put the fairy energy. I want to save it. You never know, right? If he does knock me out somehow, I want to keep it. So rare candy guard chomp. So the game for him is getting back in play, and I'm actually, I'm actually kind of happy that my opponent's getting set up here. I didn't want to just steamroll him because we had such a good setup. It's it kind of goes to waste when like your opponent just concedes because you kind of steamroll them. But yeah, the game is far from over. He could even just knock me out with missile jab if he wanted to. We still have our stretcher though, so that's fine. No, he's gonna retreat into Gabite. It looks like he's just gonna go for Garchomp. He's gonna precognate Vora. He could do a counter catcher knockout on Altaria. He can do Cynthia. So yeah, if he hits Garchomp and counter catcher here, he can knock out my Altaria, which would be pretty bad. Ooh, Dragon Garchomp. We can just knock him out with infinite force. So that's good. We, did, we just put one fairy energy on infinite force box him. We can save this ult this Gardevoir for this. So he's going to Ultra Ball. Did he find a counter catcher play? Because if he did, and he did, ooh. Alright, my opponent's going to knock out my Altaria. The first Altaria will go down. So the game is getting interesting, guys. Um, Well, he might not play two counter catchers, actually. No, he is. Okay. Oh, he's bringing up Gardevoir. Does he have a choice band? I think he's already done Instruct. Does he have a Choice Band? He's already got two in play. No, he didn't get it. Wow. Um, might as well just knock him out with the Active here. To be honest with you, there's not much else we can do. Um, I mean, I could just knock him out with Altaria. Then I just get Royal Blades. How many DCs? Yeah, he's got two. Oh, he can Seeds. Never mind. He actually still had a decent setup, but I guess I still had like a good setup too, especially with how my board was looking. And we're going to get 160 coins here, which means we can buy a pack. And that daily dragon evo was also good. And we get a nice boost of coins. I'm probably not going to be able to get these 600 coins on this ladder, guys. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough time to play in a day, especially because I probably... I won't be able to play much longer. We'll do... We'll open up a pack here, but yeah, that was a game where we had an insane setup. That was... Pretty bonkers. We might as well just get a Celestial pack. It's probably wise to start saving up soon, though, for the new set. That's dropping, I think, in November. So it's probably best to start saving up soon. I usually save up, like, a month before, and by then I can get at least, like, 50 packs. But yeah, we'll open up a Celestial pack. Still looking for Rayquaza. 
didn't get it. Uh, we'll see you guys in a minute with another game, though, with the Altaria deck. Alright, guys, here we go. Let's go get another game with the Altaria Guardi deck. See what we play against. Hopefully, we can play against an EX-based deck so I can show off Bright Tone a little bit. That would be pretty nice. But, no, we are not. It looks like... Well, no, we're actually playing against Zork Lycanroc. I just caught on. I thought we were playing against the Buzzwool Garboder deck, but the types do line up to Zork Lycanroc, considering the Lele... Uh, fairy Lele is probably what that fairy type is. And we win the coin flips. That's pretty good. So let's see what we end up starting with here. A Ranguru. Yeah, awesome. Pretty bad hand. Pre I don't like this hand at all. I think it's pretty bad. Uh, okay, Nest Ball makes up for it a little bit. Uh, probably put Swablu down. Let's check. Do we have Altarias? We do. We prized a Gardevoir. Um... We got all our Cynthia's. We do have Lance in the deck. Though I've got to watch out for Dangerous Rogue. We prized a Guzma. Looks like we prized a Lily or two. We prize. We prized a Fairy Energy. Alright, good to know. Good to know. So we'll do Cynthia. Hopefully we can maybe hit another, like a Ralts here would be nice. No, we do get an Altaria. Not the one we need though. Got, we would have been able to do Bright Toe next turn. Uh, we'll put Coco down and pass, I think. Don't want to put too much Pokemon on the bench. Again, we got to watch out for uh, Dangerous Rogue. But we should be fine for now. Should be fine. We do... If, if we can top deck an Altaria GX, that would be really nice. So we can actually do Guzma here and then start doing Bright Tone. He's playing... Ooh, Bayonet. So is he not playing Lycanroc then? I don't think he is gonna do a Kikui, which I'm fine with. Him playing that now is actually good. If we can deal with this Lele quick enough, uh, we won't have to worry about, uh, you know, I don't have to worry too much about having to be damaged. So unfortunately, no Altaria. Well, Cynthia and hope we get Altaria here. Wow, we didn't. That's actually pretty brutal, especially because Swablu could get knocked out. This is why this is not, this is one of my issues with the Noibat and Swablus is like, you don't get the Noivern Altaria, they're stuck on the bench with two energies on them. Probably just gonna have to switch into Coco and pass. It would've been nice to do Flying Flip, I guess. But, I didn't know I was gonna... Whatever, it's fine. We didn't get any Curlias or, like, Gardevoir or Candy either, which is pretty bad. We'll see. I'm pretty sure there's... At the time of recording this, Bayonet Zoart, I think, is in the top four right now at, uh, the Pennsylvania Regionals. At the time of recording this, I don't know if they won it yet. My opponent's going to trade off a weakness policy. I really hope they don't get Guzma here. Alright, good. So, Swablu survives. We'll probably fly and flip, too, if my opponent doesn't get anything. Great Ball. I know there's been talk of Great Ball being used. Let's see if he finds a Zoark. No, nothing. Wow, that's pretty big. Does he even find energy to Psy Wave? He does get DCE. He could be playing an escape rope. I mean, he could escape rope me here. Let's see. No, he's going to play a choice band. He's going to pass. All right, let's see if we top deck. Got another roll. So it doesn't look like he's playing Lycanroc, so it's probably safe. We might as well go flying flip. He could be stuck in the active for another turn. Who knows? We need to find Altaria, though. ASAP. We got it. Nice. Ooh, we did get rare candy, but no Gardevoir. That really sucks. I think we just fly and flip. Bright Tone's not doing enough to knock him out. Plus the 20 damage is pretty relevant, I think. We'll let Coco kind of do its thing. Um, and then we'll attack with Sonic. Bright Tone next turn. We know that Altaria can't get knocked out next turn. There's like no way he's going to be able to hit for like enough to knock me out. He's probably going to knock out Coco this turn. Oh, he's playing Garbodor. Okay, how many items have we played? Two. Okay, never mind. It's not a big deal. Hopefully we can top deck Gardevoir GX here so we can uh, grab a Gardevoir, get Gardevoir in play. Gardevoir is huge in a matchup against Zoark, I think. So he's going to Nest Ball. Did he find a way to retreat? Did he also find a Guzma? That's also what I'm worried about. I mean, he probably wants to have Garboder in this matchup because he's like, well, Garboder is one of the only things that can damage Altaria. So he's probably going to want to do that. But he did get rid of a Trubbish and a Garboder there, so... All he really has is a Lelic, so that's about it. He could Shady move, but that would do nothing, because it's just one damage counter. Did he even find a way to 
attack me this turn with Zoark GX. If he didn't, I mean, this is pretty good. We can get another turn to find flip him, get some more damage on the board. I could just bright tone him now, though. Hit him for 50. But I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's better just flying flip again. He's gonna rainbow energy the bayonet. That's fine. And he did hit a Guzma. And he's bringing out Bayonet, which is only hitting me for, like, 60. So it's not doing as much damage as he thought. But I guess he's doing 70 with the, uh, the Shady move. But it's not doing as much damage as he thought. Yeah, 70. So we have a lot of HP left. And there's a Gardevoir. We'll get rid of Rare Candy. We'll get rid of Altaria. Grab Guardy GX. Seems good. I could have kept the candy too, but it's because I can always get another Gardevoir off like Obstruct or something. Who knows? Uh, it's fine though. We'll Secret Spring the Fairy Energy onto the active. We'll Instruct for two. See what this gives us. We got Lily. We'll play that. There's a DCE. There's another Fairy Energy. We have an Ultra Ball. I might. Yeah, we'll play that. We'll get rid of a Lele and a Treasure. Maybe grab Curlia here if we have one in the deck. We do. Nice. Try and set up a couple guardies. Should be good. Don't know what else I want to do. There's a lot of items we played. So, we have to deal with... We have Twilight, but I don't know if I want to go Twilight or Euphoria. Um, we'll probably just load up Gardevoir, but I'll save the DC in case he's playing Enhanced Hammer. And we will Bright Tone him for 80. So, we're going to hit him pretty hard. Uh, we can't knock him out next turn, though, unfortunately. Unless he, like, knocks out Coco or something, and then we Lele for Lance to get the other Altari out. But he's going to be able to Shady move and heal 10 from his Bayonet, which does allow him to take a hit. But he cannot damage me unless he attacks me with Tapu Lele, well, with Tapu Lele, which he could do. But it's not even knocking me out. But we're not knocking him out. So it's a bit of a, a bit of an odd spot to be in. I can always just retreat, though, go into Gardevoir and knock him out, which I probably will end up doing. I mean, I guess Lele is hitting me a little hard. He is doing 70 to me. Plus 80 with the shady move. If I see a Trubbish come down, I might have to target that too. Because obviously Garboder... You know, we've played a lot of items. And ooh, he's getting rid of Buzzles. He's getting rid of a lot of his attackers though. And we have played a ton of items. He's doing like 140. He did find a Rainbow Energy. A Shuppa going down, but that is not a Garboder. So we'll probably just knock him out with infinite force. He's gonna shady move. Probably gonna heal the bayonet. Because he knows, like, hey, bayonet, you know, it's in range of getting knocked out by bright tone. Which I could have taken the bright tone knockout too if I wanted to next turn. He's hitting Gardevoir though, not the Altaria. Interesting. He's gonna retreat. He is gonna lose one of his energies though, which is also pretty important. I don't know what the list is playing though. I don't know if it's playing a basic psychic. I mean, since he's playing Garb, he's probably playing an extra Psychic Energy. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll do another trade. Getting rid of... Oh, there you go. There's base Psychic Energy. He could also set up a... A, a, a Magical Swap play, but we are going to knock him out. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, we're weak! Dude, I forgot we were weak to Fairy. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that changed everything. We were weak to Fairy the whole time. I'm an idiot. Alright, that's fine. Um, we'll drop Lele here. We will, uh, I mean, the best thing might just be to Lance put another Altaria GX in play. I don't hate that. Forgot about being weak to Fairy, though. I completely, for I keep thinking Altaria, especially because I'm using a Rainbow Rare, so I can't really see if it's a, uh, a Fairy type or not. But yeah, that's my bad. Completely forgot we were weak there. Do we want the DCE? Nah, we'll just do Instruct for one for now. See if we can get a Fairy Energy or something. No, an Ultra Ball. Uh, yeah, we'll just knock him out with Gardevoir here. What else do I want to do, though? I think I hold the DC, because we can potentially KO with Zork next turn. We do have to watch out for that Lele coming back. There is an Energy. Nice, so we can build up Altaria, and that should be good. I forgot about that Fairy Weakness, though. But I mean, I guess we would have bright toned him anyways instead of guard him because he only had one energy on. But yeah, I forgot about that fairy weakness. That kind of that kind of hurts. Gonna put a Zorwa down. Still no trubbishes, which is good. 
He can hit pretty hard with Riotous Beating, which is a little annoying, but I think we can knock him out here with Gardevoir. But the only problem is we could lose in the following turns. We only took one prize for taking out this Lele. You gotta remember, it's only one prize card. It's not a lot. Devour Field? That actually kind of helps me. Ooh, QE too. So he is hitting me pretty hard. Not knocking me out, but he's still doing a lot of damage, which is bad. Yeah, 160. All right. Let's see what we can draw. We drew a water energy, which is, I guess, good discard bait. Or no, we could just, we can saw, we can bright tone him this turn, though it's probably best to just knock him out. How much are we doing? We are doing 120, 150, 180. So we do have a knockout here. So yeah, it's good. We do have the knockout. We do have to play the extra fairy on the knock him out, I'm pretty sure. We'll Ultra Ball for a, another Guardi GX. The only problem is, is we could lose to a Bayonet in the coming turns if he plays any more uh, supporters. Alright, I wouldn't mind finding an energy recycle system. Let's see. Okay, we got a Fairy Energy and a uh, Tate Miser, which is good. So we'll, we'll build up... Well, it's probably not best build Taria, but we'll attach it anyways. Probably should have just put it on Gardevoir. I don't know why I did that. Whatever, it's fine. See what Tate Miser gives us. Did find a choice band. Another energy. Alright, well. I guess we just infinite force him here for the knockout. Unfortunately, we did have to play that extra fairy to knock him out. Uh, there's another nest ball. We got a, another Gardevoir. Probably don't need that, though. Now, winning the game might actually be a bit harder, though, to be honest. This might actually be a bit of a hard win to get. Still take three prizes. But he does have a heavily damaged Bane. How many Guzmas are left? Still have two. There's the first Trubbish. Alright, that's where things go south. We have played 120, 140, 160, 180. Yeah, Garbodor is hitting for 180 damage, so... No Guzmas, though, off that Tame Liza means we can't deal with Trubbish right away. Which is bad. He's got a Great Ball. He whiffs it, that's good. He does do a trade. He's gonna get rid of Devour Field. Is that three? It is. It's like three. Wow, that's a lot. Ooh, I mean, I guess it counters Shrine. I don't even know if this is the list that's uh, from Pennsylvania. I could do Euphoria next turn somehow if we don't get knocked out, but no, it looks like he's just going to retreat. Knock me out. Rip. I was going to say, you know, Euphoria is there. The option is there to do Euphoria. Now, I don't know what to attack him with here. The problem is, is because that Trubbish is on the bench and we don't have access to another Altaria, we kind of are at the mercy of him right now, which is not very good. I might just have to swing with Gardevoir, but he's clearly playing Ace Rolla, so that's probably a bad idea. I mean, we might just lose next turn if this dude has another Gardevoir, a Garbodor. We can't even stop him. Like, I don't even know if we have game. We grab a Lele. We can't. We don't have Stretcher, so we can't. Can't do Lele here. All right. Lele being on the bench means it doesn't really matter if we do Nest Ball or not. Hmm. This is tough. This is tough. Not having Guzma here is the thing that makes this pretty bad. Ooh, still no Guzmas off that. It's not very good. Might just infinite force him here and then just hope he doesn't do Ace Rolla and doesn't win the game next turn. Not much we could do. I would have preferred to knock out maybe Bayonet and then if like this thing or this guy didn't evolve, maybe try and stuff a win that way in the following turn if that were possible. That was kind of my last hope. Let's see, he is down to Garbodor. I don't know how many Garbodors he's playing, either if it's a 2 or 1. He hasn't played a Stretcher yet. He might be a little low on his Rainbow Psychic Energies. Maybe the last one's prized. Ah, oh, there it is. Roll a shoot. Yeah. But him not bringing out Trubbish means he doesn't have game. Which is good. He still does 2-shot me, though, which is really bad. Okay, there's Guzma. Um, we 
don't have a choice band, though. I was gonna say we get choice band, knock him out. We can't get our water back either. There's no way to get energy recycle system and get that back, and then maybe we can knock him out with Sonic Edge. I might just Doozma out the Zarua and then maybe just go for Euphoria here. Bit of a waste of a Guzma, though, but maybe we can knock out the Zorua next turn if somehow we can't retreat it. I don't know. I don't know how we can win this, guys. We don't have another Gar Gardevoir on the... Or, yeah, another Gardevoir. So we don't have another Altari on the bench. This may not even matter. Okay, him not waking up is good. He could evolve that. So, we'll see. Well, he is down to Zoroark. Who knows? That's been on the bench for a few turns, so he, he would have evolved it last turn, I guess, so... That might not become a Zork. Oh, there's Guzma. Alright, well, good thing I did heal. But I knew it was Lele. We are dangerously low on energies. We actually have no energies left. No, we have a DC. I don't know what we can do at this point. Ooh, that was a clutch top deck. I don't see how we're going to win this, guys. I don't see how we're going to win this. He's only played two Guzmas, two... Uh, we'll do Lily first. There's Stretcher. Like, I don't see how we're gonna win this, to be honest with you. Uh, best we can do is do this. I mean, we're playing a ton of items. We kind of have to just say, well, Lele's already in play. Lele can just get double, like, quad shady move. Plus, if he has that last uh, thing in his hand, we lose. But we can Bright Tone him here for 70. Or 80, sorry, with the Devoured Field. I forgot about that. It just means we had a choice ban. We would two shot his Zoark. I don't think this will save us, so we probably lose. He probably has the last Guzma in hand, or he's going to be able to dig for it with double Zoark. So it's probably game over. If somehow we survive this turn, I'm going to be kind of amazed. <laughs> it's game over, though. I mean, we kind of played the best we could with what the game gave us. It wasn't even a bad match either. We tried. That promo lay like knocking out of nowhere though is what caught me off guard. I feel like if that never happened, our chances of winning could have been a bit better. But honestly though, I totally forgot about I thought Altari was a fairy type for like a split second. So maybe that kind of screwed me over there. I don't know. But yeah, it doesn't look like we are winning this game. But let's see. Maybe my opponent just doesn't have the knockout. I mean potentially what could happen is is we could maybe... I don't know. Actually, I think we're out of everything. You could literally win by also just doing Guzma up on something. He doesn't even have to attack it. Ooh, he didn't even do anything. Ooh, that's big. Again, it doesn't really matter, but we can, we can kind of play this game out, I guess. We have four cards left in the deck. Good to know. We have a DC left. We have one energy left. And that's not the DC, though. So we'll Bright Tone him again for 80. If he's not playing... Uh, we might win. We still have a Guzma. I think it's prize. I don't think I saw it. So maybe we can get Guzma off the prizes if he kills the Ark next turn. Is he not playing? Because he, he literally did nothing last turn. Unless he just didn't want to do trade because he's out of ways to like shuffle his hand back in his deck. But I highly doubt that. I hope he also prizes his last Garbodor or if he has a stretcher or like another rainbow or psychic in the prize. That'd be nice. I mean, this might be a lucky win. Is, does he have, like, no way to win? He has to have his last Guzma. He's either just not playing, or I'm just, like... Or he just doesn't want to do trade because he knows he can deck out. Nah, why did you have the Guzma? Let me win! Dang it, I thought he wasn't playing. Ah, that sucks. I thought he was not playing. But you can kind of see how Bright Tone can work there. I mean, we tried. We got some daily Evos done, which is nice. Um, but I don't know. Um, I feel like your Zork matchup, especially... Oh, that Lele play, though, still cheeses me to this day. Um, but other than that, I think we'll wrap this video up. I'm gonna make it a bit shorter. I actually have a lot of stuff I gotta do. I still gotta do homework. I gotta do a bunch of stuff. Um, so we're just gonna do two games for today's video. But I do like Altaria Gardevoir. If I were to change the deck, I probably would take out a fight song. We did get to do Lance Prism Star, but in all honesty, I don't think the fight song's needed. The 20 damage is nice to have, especially against that Zork. If he wasn't playing, we could have knocked out Zork there. But I guess what you can do is you can take out the guard the uh the Altaria, maybe just throw in a second Altaria, or a third Altaria, sorry. Maybe a third Altaria is needed. I mean, what you could do, you could take out Altaria, go like a 3-1 a line, maybe, or just take out the fight songs in general. 
Um, or you can just go like a 3-2 line, and then you could probably remove Lance from your deck. You won't need that at that point. And then you have room for three extra cards, so you can maybe add a fourth Gardevoir. Treat it more like a Guardi Sylveon. You can even run like a 1-1 one -one or like a 2-1 Sylveon line if you really wanted to. So you have options. Um, but other than that, you know, I like this archetype. This might be the better way to play Altaria. I don't like pure Altaria. In my opinion, it does not work. I don't think just Altaria split is not a good deck. I think Altaria needs a good backup attacker, and I think Gardevoir was good enough for us. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like. Don't forget to subscribe down the road to 4,000 subscribers. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe. The growth has been insane recently. Again, I gotta thank you guys for that. And yeah, catch you guys in another PDCGO video. Goodbye.